Hip impingement simply is bony conflict between the top of your thigh bone and the hip socket. So it can be either a problem with the bone on the socket or it can be a problem with the bone on the top of the thigh bone or both. Either way, it just is a process where the bone hits the bone and that causes a problem with the bone itself as well as the tissue around the hip socket. The initial presentation that I see in most patients, whether they are young kids or older, sort of adolescent, or even these what I'll call young adults, uh, most of them will come in with pain. Uh, most of them feel sort of pain in the front of their hip. They often will complain of pain going upstairs, sometimes sitting long periods of time, getting out of a chair or car. I have some that will complain about putting on their shoes and socks. Then you'll have those that have problems with doing certain activities, so it's activity-related pain, and it often involves bringing your hip up into flexion. So when you bring your knee sort of up into your chest, or in, in, in essence when you squat, that's where they'll feel the pain. And that will just continue to potentially get worse and worse, and then they may experience locking or catching, or very commonly I hear popping. Cross-training is essential. Um, the, the, the thought that you can do the same sport every day for 365 days a year without resting is, is, is just not realistic. And I, I often tell a lot of the parents that if you look at professional athletes, so whether it be football, basketball, baseball, or even hockey, when their season is over, they take off at least two to three months. They take a true off season. What I'm finding is, is that a great deal of the patients that I see, the kids, do not do that. And that's as young as a you know, six, seven, eight-year-old playing soccer or gymnastics or dance. And so my feeling is if it's okay for the professional to take time off, then it should be okay for the kid to take time off.